Once quoted as saying, as far as nails go, I only like the bullseye pink, the French artist Rosa Bonheur held true to this statement for her whole life. Now her legacy remains as a woman who challenged traditional gender roles, was passionate about animals and art, and remained unmarried, spending life with her close female friends. <music>
although um, at one point when she spoke of Natalie, she said, had I had been a man, I would have married her. After Natalie's death, when Rosa was 67, she grew lonely and invited um, the young American artist Anna Klumke? Klumke? I'm gonna go with Klumke, who was 33, so half of Natalie's age, to come and live with her. Um, the two of them were very close, and Rosa referred to Anna as the daughter she never had, although there was one letter where she refers to Anna as her wife. Um, the two women often painted together, and Anna was a very accomplished portraiture artist, so there is a lot of portraits of um, Rosa painted by Anna. Um, as Rosa did grow older, her health did decline, and Anna was very caring and took care of her until her death. Um, she passed away of influenza at the age of 77. Rosa did leave everything to Anna, much to her family's dismay, and because of this, Anna dedicated her life to Rosa's legacy. So that is all for today. Um, if you enjoyed the story and you want to read more in depth about the career and life of Rosa von Hoare, I have linked my sources in the description below, um, much more in depth articles that include um, very detailed accounts and more into some of the details of um, her art career. If you want to learn more about female artists throughout history, go ahead and subscribe and turn on notifications to hear about my next video, and have a wonderful day! Thank you.